Made in China, three words that are gaining new meaning. At this motor show, Chinese companies are presenting new technologies and EV vehicles never seen before, and people seem to like it. Ahead in terms of uh, battery production and manufacturing, they also have newer technology. They also uh, solid state batteries. And uh, I think the build quality feels good. I think it, uh, so obviously you had to drive, go for a test drive to tell how it drives, but so far I, I'm liking what I see. More than seven Chinese EV vehicle brands are now on display here at the Munich show with a slick new look, luxury interior, cutting edge technology, and not to mention large touch screens. Vehicles that look like something from the future. All the big players are here, MG, NIO and BYD, highlighting the rapid transformation of the made in China EV vehicle, but also the importance they play in Europe's green future. BYD started as battery manufacturing and this around this core technology and now we master the technology based on the battery motor motor control system. And also you know that we are not new here. And we enter into European market since 1998. Our Chairman Wang founded BYD in 1995. So last year we entered into the passenger car business and we start to choose corporate with the dealer, the dealer partners because we want to create a win-win cooperation and it gives the best service to our customer. BYD is launching its latest vehicle, the new SEAL full electric sedan that can achieve 570 kilometers on a single charge, and all that at $44,000. But for those who don't want to dive too deep into their bank account, Leap Mortar can be the answer, with EV vehicles at a consumer-friendly price. The whole market positioning that we've been adhering to in China is that we're focusing on the target group of the most mainstream and popular consumer market. The core price range of our product is twenty to $27,000, which is actually a relatively mainstream consumer group. But it's not only EV vehicles that are making their presence here. Chinese technology used in these EV vehicles are also getting a lot of attention, with companies such as Sense Auto, which incorporates artificial intelligence for a smarter, more safer ride. You know, you, you know in, in the campaign, there's a, a lot of APPs. So, so if the driver or passengers, if they want to uh, it's very difficult for them to choose a particular APP to activate a certain kind of functions. But now with the language model, if you just uh, tell them what you want to do, and uh, it uh, can automatically call this uh, specific function from the APP. At this year's show, there is clearly a strong push to go electric. For many Europeans, that meant a hefty amount of money for a vehicle and infrastructure, at least until now.